hello everybody and welcome to my channel so today we're going to do something special we're going to install mujoku which is a robotic simulation a physics engine that is used most mostly for simulations and it also uh, i've seen it used in uh, unity or uh, real engine which are game engines so uh, what we are trying to accomplish today is actually not only installing Mujuku library, which is a C++ library, but we're going to install a Python wrapper of this library, which is the Mujuku Pi. So instead of going through the download procedure, which is available on this site and will only give us the C++ library, I want to go and visit the Mujuku Pi GitHub page which is available by Googling Mojuku Pi and then click on, on, the, on the first uh, link here. I actually did more than just telling you what to do. I also wrote it down. Let's um, look at this document here. So in this document, I have all the necessary steps for the installation. I'll put the link to this document in the comments below the video. So you have it available and you can just follow it with me and uh, go through the installation, hopefully successfully. So preliminaries to this installation process is having Anaconda installed. If you don't have it, just run these three commands in your Ubuntu machine and you should be able to install it successfully if not there are plenty of tutorials on online that you can find how to install anaconda we also need git if you don't have git so simple single line command will bring you up to the up to step three where we need you to be in order to continue with the mojuku library installation so we're gonna start our uh tutorial here in step three step three ask us to download the mojuku library from this link and uh this link is actually the same one as you can find on the mojuku pi github page so clicking on this will download the uh the zip file we can show it in folder and double click will show us that there's uh, another folder inside. We're not gonna extract it yet because uh, what we're going to do is follow the step, steps carefully. And the step 3.2 is asking us to create a hidden folder first. So let's go and do that. I'm gonna start a terminal. And create a hidden folder and it tells me right where to put it at and the command is make directory i'm already in the home directory home username that's already where i'm at so i'm just gonna name it dot mojuku and this dot in the beginning tells us that it's a hidden folder all right what what does it mean a hidden folder it means that if i run a simple list command i don't see it but if i I type minus A after the list command. I see all those hidden files and folders. Hidden files and folders start with the dot. Okay, so we can see the dot mojoku folder um, available and that it is exists. And we can continue to step number three. So step number three tells us to extract that library uh, zip file that we downloaded to the dot mojoku folder so let's do that so instead of extracting it in the home directory let's extract it somewhere else um, okay how do we do that okay so hit on extract and then home mojoku extract Great, so inside the .mojoku folder, we have the mojoku210 folder, and inside we have a bin folder, include model and sample. 
Awesome. So that actually concludes step number 3.3. 3.4 tells us to include a few uh, lines of code in the dot bash rc file. So let's head to the dot bash rc file. It is inside the home directory. Now, if you can't see it, so what you should do is hit control, keep holding it, and then press H. That's actually activates and deactivates the uh, hidden file um showing and and not showing the hidden file so so control h shows the hidden file display the the hidden files uh and, and we can double click on the bash rc file which is a hidden file double clicking on it will bring us to uh, the dot bash rc and what you guys need to do is is uh include these four lines in your bash rc so i already did it uh, as you can see here in this file i have torgibot which is my username but you should put your own username here okay so whatever your username is just change it to yours and then paste it inside the bash rc great so we have the bash rc updated okay with these four lines and we can continue to step number 3.5, which is to source the dot bash RC. So let's do that. Okay, so we sourced it. Now we are in a very important key point. We want to make sure that the library is installed correctly. So we need to go to the bin folder of the library that we just downloaded and run this command command simulate that, that dot dot model humanoid that xml let's cross our finger and hope that Mujuko will work and yay as we can see we have a running simulation uh, unfortunately this is not a python script that we ran it is a c++ script so what we need to do now is go through the procedure of installing the Mojuku Pi, which is the Python wrapper. Okay, so first thing first, let's create uh, an Anaconda um, um, Anaconda environment. Okay, so the command is Anaconda create minus, minus minus name, and I named my environment Mojuku Pi and the required python is 3.8 so i already have this uh this environment i'm gonna remove and reinstall it so we'll be on the same on the same page here and as you can see everything is being installed so now we need to activate this environment uh mujuku pi not mujuku and Okay, so we are activated. Let's do some, um, we'll install some sudo packages. And uh, let's do that by running this command. So first of all, we're going to update the repositories. And now we're going to install patch shelf. For me, everything is probably going to be installed because I already ran through the procedure. But please go through this carefully and have everything successfully installed. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to git clone the Mojuku Pi GitHub repository. So let's do that. It doesn't really matter where you where you put it um i just gonna put it um inside the dot mojuku folder okay so let's do that all right that was pretty quick let's cd into it
So inside Mujuku Pi, we have, uh, let's see what we have. So we have uh, requirements.txt and another requirement, requirements.dev.txt. These are um, Python requirements that we have to have installed first. So let's install these. It's gonna run these two commands. Okay, first command went through successfully, second command also went through successfully and we have another last one. Great, so we have successfully installed Mojuku Pi. Um, now we need to go through a rebooting our machine. So I'll do that. I'll have you guys also do that and we'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, and we're back. Uh, so let's open another terminal and uh, what we need to do, and I should add it here, is to activate our environment. Don't worry, you guys are going to have it uh, already updated for you guys. Okay. So, I activated the environment, and then what we need to do is run these three or four lines of code first. So, another installation, um, for me it was already done, but you guys probably gonna have it, uh, have it uh, running through. Uh, this line that I just ran, uh, which just failed, uh, was supposed to create a symbolic link but it already exists now i suggest uh i i suspect that you guys gonna have the same uh and the same error here the same message because this is common uh procedure to create this symbolic link so if you already have it great so you get the error but make sure if you get the error that it's a file exists error and nothing else okay so Last command for installation is the pip3 install minus capital U Bajuku Pi 2.2 to 2.1. I already have it satisfied. Uh, you guys gonna run probably a couple of minutes through this procedure. And now what we need to do is go to dot Majuku a Mojuku Pi and inside Mojuku Pi there's an example example folder and we're gonna try and test see if we can have an a running simulation and the command that we need to run is this last one which is running a Python script of installation of a simulation that's called setting state okay let's Cross our finger and hope that it works successfully. So first time um, it's building the site and extension and it's going to take a little while. That's normal. Yay, and we have a 
running simulation of Mujuku wrapped with Python scripts. Okay, guys, and that concludes this tedious installation process. I hope you were able to successfully install Mujuku and you can enjoy this wonderful simulation. Catch you guys next time. Good luck and leave comments below if you need any help.